Good afternoon, film fans. I'm just going to adjust my necklace. So, another film. I actually saw this film on Saturday, and then yesterday I saw Military Wives, and I did the review of that immediately after I came out. The reason I didn't do Onward there and then is because I took my children, and they were in the car, and I don't include them in this project. I talk about them, but I don't include them because... They are small, they are 7 and 11, and they don't need to be put up on YouTube for people to comment on them. Um, but it was a quote-unquote children's film we went to see on Saturday, and that film was Onward. So this is the latest offering from um, Disney Pixar. And it is the story of a magical world where the magic has gone. So if you imagine a world populated by... Um, elves, sprites, unicorns, centaurs, but where they use technology and drive cars. So yeah, that's quite weird, but this is Disney Pixel and they have taken you inside the mind of a teenage girl and they've taken you into the world of monsters that pop out of your wardrobe and they've made you care about a wooden cowboy doll and a space ranger. So you just go with it is my advice so like I say there's this world where it's kind of very like our world but the inhabitants are what we would look at as being sort of mythical magical creatures and the central characters are two brothers Barley and Ian Ian we know is 16 because he has his birthday in the film Barley we think is maybe two three years older um, and they are elves young boys very similar to human teenage boys barley is a bit of a waster he's into his fantasy games he's sort of dungeons and dragons type vibes um doesn't really want to grow up doesn't really want to work um his younger brother ian is a bit more desperate to fit in a bit more desperate to be normal and their mum is a mum a mum doing her best with two teenage sons by herself and the reason she's by herself is because when Barley was very small and we think before Ian was born their dad died now I'm going to put a, a warning a big old warning label on this if you're thinking of going to see this and you have experienced the loss of a parent hello I have um I don't have my dad anymore approach with caution um this is disney pixar and they do what they do very well this film punched me so hard in the feels i cried like a baby so i mean the trailer tells you they don't have their dad and the trailer tells you that um a, a gift left by their dad um for when they're both over 16 so ian's 16th birthday their mum gives them this parcel and it's a wizard staff and a spell which will bring their father back from sun up to sundown so basically one day so he can spend some time with them which is an incredible prospect um like i say barley was very small when his dad died so he has a few memories of him and um ian has none so that in itself is quite hard hitting i guess for an animated film um, the mother, the mum character also talks about when your dad got sick. So despite the fact that dad is an elf who did dabble in magic in his spare time, he's died of an illness. Um, cancer is what immediately popped into my head, although they don't call it that. So he hasn't died from something mythical and he hasn't been killed in a car crash. He's died from being sick. So again, have that in the back of your mind if you're planning to take children to this and that is something that has touched your family i'm not saying avoid it i'm just saying be aware so they attempt to cast the spell barley despite all his knowledge of mythical things doesn't have any magical ability it turns out ian does have but knows nothing about it they attempt the spell the spell goes wrong and what they end up with is their dad's legs and nothing else and so begins their quest and Barley's very excited to actually be on a quest because he's a lover of all that sort of thing. Quests and maps and gems and fair maidens and, you know, puzzles to solve and all that sort of thing. And Ian's just kind of along for the ride because obviously he desperately, desperately wants to meet his dad. 
there is a lot of comedy to be mined from two teenage boys, elves, um, navigating a map and a quest with a pair of legs in tow. Um, but yeah, there are some real emotional moments as well. And I looked at my son, who is seven, towards the end of the film and I was crying and I looked at him and his little face looked up at me and he was just bawling his eyes out. So it is very emotional. It's very, very funny. Uh, voice wise, we've got um, a real awesome parent in the lead roles. The voice of Ian, the younger brother, is provided by um, our own Tom Holland, um, although with his American accent on. And then the older brother, Barley, is voiced by Chris Pratt. Or if you prefer, as my 11 year old insisted on pointing out to me, despite the fact that I knew this already, uh, Mum, Mummy, that's uh, Spider Man and Star Lord. Yes, Eva, I know that, thank you. Um, so it is, it's Spider Man and Star Lord. And they riff off each other beautifully. The mother's voice is provided by Julia Louis Dreyfus. Um, of Seinfeld fame and who has played the uh, the vice president in Veep for years. Uh, she's a really great comic talent, so her voice, you know, we should lend her voice very well to this. It's Pixar, isn't it? So it looks great and it's funny and it's emotional and it surprises you and yeah, they're just they're just very, 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 very good at what they do. I will say it didn't make me cry quite as much as Coco which when me and my children watched that early last year, I'd never seen it at the cinema, I got it on Blu-ray. Me and the kids sat on the floor after it finished. I didn't have a sofa at this point, which is why we were sat on the floor. Um, so we cried through the end of the film and then the film finished and I'd say, without exaggeration, we cried for an additional half an hour, which is not normal. Um, but yeah, a massive thumbs up from me. I was listening to the Five Live podcast, as I always do, and Mark uh, Kermode felt that the first half of the film was a bit messy and a bit cluttered or a bit like difficult to get into but then it was all worth it for the finale personally i was sort of in it from the word go um I really invested in the characters obviously the idea of getting one more day with my dad is something that i've thought about a lot in the last four and a half years and it's a real race against time because once the sun goes down that's it they've missed their opportunity so yeah there's that real element of sort of time's running out and you know they keep coming up against these stumbling blocks as they're on that quest and yeah it's just cracking absolutely cracking loved it both the kids enjoyed it um a huge thumbs up from me for onward uh, if you see it i hope you enjoyed it if you've enjoyed this video like share subscribe all that jazz and i will be back soon with another review katie out